there have been many different candidate vaccines, and this is the only one that was successful in phase three trials and then proceeded to be licensed. It's not an accident. It's because it's targeting a stage of the parasite when the parasite is vulnerable. There's the mosquito. There's the human host. And there's the parasite. Female mosquitoes need blood in order to mature their eggs. The way in which they look for blood is they inject their proboscis into our skin and they actually look, their proboscis is moving around looking for blood vessels. If these mosquitoes are infected with malaria, their saliva contains malaria parasites called sporozoites. The parasites are extracellular. They are not inside of a cell. And so they are vulnerable to antibodies. By the time you get to the blood stages, which are responsible for all symptoms of malaria, you have hundreds of billions of infected red cells. This is a much higher bar for a vaccine to kill all those parasites. This is a real bottleneck for the parasite. The target of the current licensed malaria vaccine, RTSS, which targets the sporozoite stage, this stage that we study, it's partially effective, not fully efficacious. There's a lot of room for improvement and the goal of our studies is to learn more about the sporozoite so we can make a better vaccine.